Anyway, Herb is flirting with Zelda right now with Carl on the same lot. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Early Pleasant View, a custom neighborhood that starts out 10 years before Vanilla Pleasant View. Now, don't worry if this is your first time around on this channel or if it's been a while since you watched a video. I'll throw in little explanations as we go along. Today we return to the Pleasant Oli household. Over here, not far from the Goths and the Langarax. Here's your view on the house or the main house, I should say, because when we look over here, we have another small house. The Pleasants live in the main house and Mary Sue's parents, the Oldies, live in the smaller one. It's currently 5.30 on a Wednesday. Everyone is still asleep except for Herb Oldie, who's walking around the garden in his undies. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, look at that. Daniel and Mary Sue are snuggling in bed. Mary Sue currently has the wish to talk to Maduri. And what you need to know is that Maduri Loner, also sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but Maduri is, I think, the mother of a sim in Strange Town. Apparently, at this point in time, she is living in Pleasant View. And because uh, I'm very curious, I looked up Maduri. I found out that Maduri is gay. That sounds a bit weird. Um, but anyway, I found out she's gay. And Mary Sue, according to ACR and Sim Blender and everything imaginable is also gay. So my thought for a storyline here is that maybe she and Maduri could uh, get closer and maybe Mary Sue will fall in love with her and realize uh, the truth about herself. This is why I'm locking in her wish to talk to Maduri. And let's see if anything like that will happen or if all my plans will be crushed again by this game as they usually are. Also, Carl is going to age up into an elder today, so maybe we're going to have a little party later on. Oh, well, guess what? Both Mary Sue and Daniel have the day off today. So I guess Mary Sue can get to know Maduri for a bit. Angela woke up and went right to the computer, but she still wants to do her homework and... Um, Let's see if she can make it in time. Oh, Mary Sue just sat down. She's waiting for her mom to serve her breakfast. As it's probably always been for her. And of course, Daniel is sitting down as well. Oh, come on, Angela, you can do it. You're almost there with your homework. You have 10 minutes to get to the bus. Yes, come on, come on, run, run, run. And there she goes. Mary Sue has finished her breakfast. Now she can... Call Maduri. Let's hope she's available. Oh, she's not. Damn. Herb Oldie wants to have two loves at once. So he really wants to have an affair. And guess who he has two bolts with? It's Zelda May. <laughs> Again, who um already had a date with Daniel Pleasant. Who do you think is going to be the father of Zelda's first baby? <laughs> Feel free to place your bets now. He doesn't know Zelda very well, so I'm not quite sure if she will say yes to a date, but there's no harm in asking, right? Oh, she says yes. And now Herb wants to flirt with Coral and all. So I guess he has a bad conscience already, but you wanted this, Herb, and now we're doing it. Here we are at Red's famous 50s diner. I feel like that place was all the rage when Herb was young. So of course he took Zelda here. Of course we're starting the date with a couple of friendly interactions, as usual. While Zelda is on a date with Herb, she wants to take a picture both with Herb and with Michael, so Zelda seems to be very undecided. Anyway, they really want to take a photo together, so we're going to do that. And there's the photo. Herb wants to pull a prank on Zelda. How mean. Let's see if she's going to like that. May not be the best idea, Herb. See, she didn't like it. Oh, poor Zelda. 
Oh, now they're slow dancing. That's cute. I mean, if, it would be really cute if um, this weren't an affair and all. And now Herb wants to pull another prank on Zelda. Herb, why are you so mean? Herb and Zelda are sitting down to have some food. Oh, Zelda, she's just shoveling that cake. <laughs> oh, Herb and Zelda have a crush on each other now. So there are now four men in Zelda's life. There's her brother-in-law, Dustin Langerak. There's Daniel Pleasant, Michael Bachelor, and now Herb Oldie. So anyway, Herb and Zelda have reached a dream date. And I think I'm going to end it for now. Also, it's almost 5 p.m. And I want Herb to be home when Coral ages up. He could at least be present for that, right? Now we're back at the lot to see what will happen. In the meantime, while Herb is gone. And Daniel wants to kiss Mary Sue and flirt with her. So let's take care of that. Look at Daniel's walk. He's ready to impress his wife. Oh, look at that. Now Daniel wants to talk to Zelda. Zelda is on everyone's mind, it seems. And our cat, Mr. Fluffball, has aged up. I didn't quite film it, but uh, here he is. He's adorable, of course. Things are heating up and Daniel wants to make out with Mary Sue. Unsurprisingly, Mary Sue has no such wishes, but I guess she's just going along with it. She's like, maybe I can make this work. Maybe this is who I am after all. Now for another woohoo between these two. A look at Daniel's underpants. That's absolutely perfect. I love it. Daniel wants to gain a skill point, so I'm going to let him work on his body skill because he needs a lot of body points to get promoted. He needs all of them, in fact. The girls are coming home from school and apparently both their grades are improving. Angela now has a B plus and Lilith too. Lilith brought home a friend and it's Sophie Miguel. I'm pretty sure in regular Pleasant View she's a teenager. So of course here she's a townie and Lilith wants to be friends with her. So let's have a water balloon fight. Angela's fun is just pure red so she can go play with the dollhouse. Hope that helps Angela. It's now 4 p.m. and Mary Sue is going to call Maduri once more. I hope she's home by now. Seems like she is. Aw, Lilith and Sophie are playing. It's summer too, so this is the perfect time for a water balloon fight. Angela still wants to learn how to do her homework. And for that she's going to ask her mom. Oh, whoopsie, and it's almost 6 p.m. And Coral is about to age up. I didn't do anything fancy, sorry Coral. Oh, good grief. Um, Herb has returned from his date and... Apparently, Zelda has followed him home. Anyway, Herb is flirting with Zelda right now with Coral on the same lot. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, apparently nothing. Okay, um, lucky you, Herb. But you should say goodbye to Zelda now. Oh, and now he kissed her. And Coral didn't notice it. <laughs> Lilith tried dancing and she found out that it's her one true hobby. She's dancing to some classical music. Like a true punk. Herb has a lot of wishes that have to do with Coral. But he also wants to be best friends with Zelda, so... He seems to be pretty torn. Coral is aging up. And oh my goodness, Zelda is back. She just can't stay away from this lot. She's just placing some flowers here. I hope that's all she's doing. Anyway, back to Coral. Congratulations, you're old. Coral aged up while she was in gold aspiration, so that's not too bad. <gasps> oh my! Okay, Mary Sue was just making herself some TV dinner and 
Now the kitchen's burning. <laughs> Luckily, we have a smoke detector and the fireman or firewoman is here. Mary Sue, please get out of there. We already had our death for this round. Okay, no one died. No one died. Yeah, you eat that now, Mary Sue, as a punishment. Okay, do you see this dirty food bowl and this empty tray thingy and the dirty toilet in the background? This house looks terrible and right now no one's wishing for a maid, but I'm going to hire one anyway. It's not going to be Kaylin because she's still a teenager. So let's see who it's going to be. Oh, apparently it's the male maid. The one that Agnes Crumblebottom is having a thing with. Anyway, of course he can come. Look, Herb and Coral are sleeping. And Coral doesn't know that Herb had a date today with Zelda. Poor Coral. Oh, she wanted to reach a golden anniversary too. Oh, well, that's not going to happen now, Coral. I'm sorry. But Herb wants to have six grandchildren. And that's most likely not going to happen either. Daniel has the day off today. He wants to ask a sim on a date. And he wants to woohoo and make out with three different sims. So I think you already know what I'm going to do. Oh no, Mr. Fluffball! Please don't destroy this trophy. It's probably Daniel's. Oh, you know what? Actually, never mind. Go ahead. Oh, Coral has woken up at 3 a.m. I should probably change Coral's clothes. I feel like uh, that's not quite her style. Anyway, style or not, Pearl is going to make some breakfast for the family. Okay, Mary Sue, you gotta get up. You have to go to work today. Daniel is also waking up. And he can rely on his mother-in-law to serve him some breakfast. You don't deserve that at all, Daniel. And there's Mary Sue's carpool and the school bus. Even though it's waiting somewhere in the back for some reason. These two haven't quite finished their breakfast yet. And apparently they see no reason to hurry. Come on, stuff it in. But yeah, I like that, Lilith. Well done. Run! Seems to be a theme with you, Angela. I think she's an anime protagonist. But she's not running with a toast in her mouth. So there's that. Daniel is, of course, going on that date with no other than Zelda May. Daniel is getting into his fancy car because he wants to impress Zelda, of course. Here we are at the uh, Lost in Love hedge maze, was it, I think? You know the drill. First, we're going to fulfill some friendly wishes to get these two into the right mood. Now look at that. Apparently we can even get married here. And there's a photo booth and a hot tub. So this is definitely a very romantic place. Oh, Zelda fell in love with Daniel. Now Daniel already wants to make out with Zelda. But Zelda still wants to get a picture taken with Daniel. So I'm pretty sure once we fulfill that... Zelda's going to be on the same page as Daniel. And there come our romantic photos. Right, now she wants to make out as well. And also a reminder, Zelda has not had a woohoo yet. So, as you can see, Zelda now wants to have her very first woohoo with Daniel. And in his car. Daniel now also wants to woohoo with Zelda. So, of course, we're going to fulfill that. Oh, look, there's Holly Alto. She thinks Zelda is hot, apparently. You're not the only one, Holly. You're not the only one. So they're now having a woohoo in the car. Boing! Wishes fulfilled. So that was Zelda's very first woohoo in a very fancy car. And these two are now already having a dream date, so I'm going to end it here. Oh, now Daniel wants to have public woohoo with three different sims. I'm going to lock that in and I'm not quite sure who the other two will be, but I guess we will find out. Oh, Daniel knows Nina Caliente. So that's a potential 
victim, if you want to call it that. So now Herb and Carl have the house all for themselves. And apparently the first thing they're going to do is um, have some fun on the couch. The romance between them is not quite dead yet. Oh, and there's the mate. And it's Sullivan Cocker. Just like I thought it would be. Miss Snuggles is aging up. And now she's an adult dog. Wait, I just remembered that I wanted to give Coral a little makeover. So here's Coral's new outfit. Herb now wants to learn couples counseling. So yeah, he definitely has a bad conscience. But also Herb wants to have woohoo with three different sims. Ah, Herb, you are a mess. Oh, Daniel is back. I totally did not see him. Daniel can go back to working on his body skill. Angela is doing extremely well in school. And here she is with an A+. Yeah. Of course she has to go tell her... her dad. Oh, Angela is playing with the teddy bear right next to Daniel. Because he doesn't really pay attention to her. But she wants to be at least in the same room with him. And maybe she's letting out her anger on that teddy. Lilith's fun is looking pretty terrible, so she gets to play with the dollhouse. Herb has just gone straight to bed before 5 p.m. He's very exhausted from his bad conscience. Mary Sue has returned from work. She has not gotten a promotion. Mary Sue is still a campaign worker at level 1-2. So her career is not going well at all. Okay, Zelda is calling, asking if Herb is available to talk. I'm going to say yes, but if she wants to go on another date, I'm going to say no. Because let's face it, two Zelda dates are enough for one episode. Yeah, um, no thank you, Zelda. Maybe next time. And I mean, it's not like you don't have enough dates as it is, right? You know what, Mary Sue, why don't you talk about your frustrations at your job with your soon-to-be friend, Midori. And Daniel has gotten his next body skill point. And now he wants to gain level 9, which he can definitely do, but not today. Herb still wants to give Coral a back rub and flirt with her because he has a bad conscience. But he also wants to kiss Zelda. I'm not quite sure what to say to that anymore. <laughs> Except that you're a bad man, Herb. You're very bad. Now Herb is going to bed. He's the last one to go to bed. And yeah, I think this is where we're going to end it for today. So, we here at TN Cinnamon wish you a wonderful day. We encourage you to take good care of yourselves. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.